All right, we need to have a little talk. I recently posted a video about the difference between hardwood and softwood. Some of the response I got to that confirmed something I was already suspicious of. That is, much of the world is confused about what evergreen means and what deciduous means. Here in the next few minutes, I'm going to try to throw down some deconfusion on that subject. A lot of people think the word evergreen is synonymous with these kind of trees. Fir, pine, cedar, hemlock, spruce, the cone-bearing trees. Trees with needles and scales instead of broad leaves. Most of the cone-bearing trees are evergreen, but there can be some confusion if we try to identify the cone-bearing trees as being the evergreens. Because there are also a lot of broadleaf trees in the world that are evergreen, like this madrone. Manzanita is an evergreen. Live oak is evergreen. A lot of people think evergreen means the cone-bearing trees, the firs, pines, cedars, the conifers. Deciduous means the broadleaf trees. It's actually not that simple. Okay, it is that simple, just that simple in a different way. Seems like I've heard that somewhere before. It actually is quite simple. Evergreen just means plants that keep green leaves year round. Deciduous plants are the ones that shed all their leaves for a certain part of the year, like these white oak, usually during the winter. I think the idea of calling conifers evergreens and broadleaf trees deciduous comes from parts of the world where that mostly holds true. Places like the northern United States, most of the conifers are evergreen. Most of the broadleaf trees are deciduous, but not always. There are conifers that are deciduous, like tamarack, larch, dawn redwood, some cypress. Those conifers are deciduous because they lose their leaves or their needles over the winter. Many parts of the world, like here on the west coast, a lot of the broadleaf trees are evergreen. Think tropical areas. Most tropical rainforests are full of broadleaf evergreens. According to nature.com, there are more broadleaf trees that are evergreen than there are broadleaf trees that are deciduous. All your tropical hardwoods, teak, mahogany, etc., those are all broadleaf evergreens. Pretty cool, huh? I'm sitting on the trailer, then all of a sudden I'm standing next to a tree, then all of a sudden I'm back on the trailer. Video editing is fun, but to try to simplify it. Instead of classifying cone-bearing trees as being evergreen and classing broadleaf trees as being deciduous, it's more correct to classify the cone-bearing trees as conifers or conifers and the broadleaf trees as broadleaf. Instead of saying evergreen deciduous, it's conifer broadleaf. The terms evergreen and deciduous, those words are just reserved to identify whether a tree stays green year round or whether it loses its leaves for part of the year. How's that? Clear as mud? It's become so ingrained to call conifers evergreens, broadleaves deciduous, that even the internet's confused about it. I've noticed there are some websites written by people who think evergreen means conifer, deciduous means broadleaf. The more reputable scientific sources say conifer broadleaf. There are parts of the world where you can get away with saying evergreen deciduous. Just keep in mind, if someone who knows the difference hears you saying that, especially one of those edumacated people, there's a good chance they might point and laugh at you. I'm not saying I would ever do anything like that. I'm just trying to warn you of the possibilities to try to keep you out of getting into that kind of trouble. That's one of the benefits of being part of this channel. I got your back, yo. If you're okay being pointed and laughed at, then no worries. But if you don't like being pointed and laughed at, you're probably better off saying conifer broadleaf. You can also get away with calling conifers softwoods and broadleaf trees hardwoods. Totally acceptable. I made a video about that a while back. I'll put a link to that in the description. And if I remember, I will put it in one of these corners which is not real likely that I will remember that one. There are plants that are exceptions like the ginkgo. We're not even gonna get into the ginkgo. One thing I can tell you about the ginkgo, one thing I know is that tree is a real piece of work. That's all I'm saying. I think that pretty much covers it. Yeah. <laughs>